Federal investigators say that a West Michigan man made a career out of selling fake baseball cards, pulling in a hundred grand a year. Tonight, we're learning more about the Norton Shores man and what you can watch out for if you're in the market for trading sports cards. Target investigator Susan Samples in the newsroom right now with more on this story. Susan? 57-year-old Brian Kennert was sentenced to 30 months in federal prison for selling 43,000 bucks worth of fake baseball card packs that he passed off as real. Homeland Security investigations searched his Norton Shores home and found fake cards that would have been worth $7.3 million if real. And I was not familiar with this person. Lou Brown doesn't know Brian Kennert, but he does know sports cards as owner of Legend Sports and Games in Grand Rapids. It looks like a lot of 50s and 60s baseball and football cards. Football. We had Brown check out pictures of some of the fake card packs Kennert resealed and sold to an unsuspecting Indiana couple in 2019. Looking at those in this picture, you can't tell that they're fake, right? Nope, nope, you really can't. You'd need to see the backs. When it comes to antique wax packs, Brown said the tell is in the seal. Does it look like it's been disturbed in any way? For cards themselves, consider this Michael Jordan fake as an example. The card stock is terrible. The colors are terrible. You know, just the, the texture, the way it looks. Brown says if you're considering a high value card or pack, make sure it's been authenticated by a reputable company. Brian Kennard's victims did that, but not until after they had already forked over 43 grand. The Indiana couple connected with Kennard when he had a booth at Anything and Everything, a consignment shop in Muskegon. The shop's owner didn't want to go on camera, but told us Kennard was a good tenant, only had one complaint in three to four years over a fake hockey card. But the recent federal charges are strike two for Kennard, who was convicted of selling counterfeit cards in the 90s, too, when the feds say he got fake cards from a friend's dad, who was a professional printer in China. Kennard's mom was an antique dealer herself, and the 57-year-old lived with her here in his childhood home in Norton Shores. His home soon, federal prison. And Lou Brown's bottom line advice for anyone in the market, know from whom you're buying. And that's really what it comes down to. You, you need to be cautious with where you're buying it. Brown says the sports card market is finally starting to cool down after exploding during the pandemic when new people who had lots of time and money discovered the sports card hobby. Brian Kennert will spend two and a half years in prison.